Hey, what's up everyone? Justin here at the start of the Blue Ridge Marathon in Roanoke, Virginia. Just drove up. Gonna go pick up my packet and check out the expo, grab dinner, hang out, get ready for tomorrow's race. It's America's toughest road marathon, they say. So 3,500 odd feet of climbing, 7,000-ish feet of total elevation change. Picked this race because I wanted to really kick my own ass today and get ready for Ironman Chattanooga and try to replicate what that marathon's gonna feel like at the end of the year. So yeah, super excited. Let's go check out the expo and see what's all about. Thank you. Yep. I can see Mary Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Expo complete. It's kind of fun. Didn't get a hat. They didn't have the one I wanted, which kind of, oh well. Definitely excited and nervous for tomorrow. The distance, not too bad. Just because of the mountains, I don't even know how to pace this right. So I'm honestly gonna hop on board like the five hour pace train. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna go get some food and catch the concert for a little while. And then yeah, we're gonna go racing. All right, good morning everyone. It's about 6.45, about 45 minutes to start, about 33 degrees, so I'm pretty cold. I have no time goal today. I'm just saying that right now. I, my goal is to finish comfortably. I just wanna get running. I'm just cold. I just wanna go. All right, Blue Ridge Marathon. Let's do it. Do you know where the start is? No. Oh crap. Chatted with the pacer. He's running even splits the entire time, so hope this race goes well. Three miles, it's never felt so hard. <laughs> Even the five hour pace is power walking. <laughs> We're at the top, the actual top. There's like four tops. I also want to give a special shout out to Kenny Caps, who's currently running from the coast of North Carolina to Clingman's Dome, about 1,100 miles in. Uh, ultra runner, was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, had a bone marrow transplant. Amazing story about a guy who, you know, is doing what we're doing. And so he's raising money right now uh, for cancer research and awareness of multiple myeloma as well as all cancers. Link in the description below if you want to check out his blog. It's an amazing story. Maybe throw him a couple bucks. Great cause. Feeling good. Mile 12, we're taking a walk break because this freaking hill, we are at the star. Done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being out here, you guys. Way to go! You have alcohol for us? <laughs> This, I'm gonna regret this later, awesome. but I love you guys. So We're just gonna stay, right? It's good There's though. Back in town at 15, and it feels good. Mile 16, and I'm deep into a walk. These hills are no joke. Going up Peakwood, the final climb, reduced to a walk. Mile 17 at 3 hours 10. <sighs> Legs are hurting, but it's a great race. Whenever I finish a race, I always look back and think, did I go as hard as I could have at every point? Coming up Peakwood right now, this is all I've got, and I'm not going to regret this one later. So word on the street is that it's not the top of Peakwood. I guess it crests, goes down flat, and then it goes back up. I'm just going to try to milk this downhill for all it's worth. Finally near the top of Peakwood, and we're done. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. 
Those strawberries are the best things in the world. We've heard Last Hill like 12 times now. These grapes and that orange are pure heaven. That's all there is to it. Mile 20.75 and the crowd support is just keeping me alive. My legs are tired, but mine's good. That's what I need. I talked about Kenny in the beginning. He wrote something a couple days ago. Find your pace and keep moving. And I want to stop, but not with three and a half or four miles left. Three miles left. My legs are crumbling. I'm at 428, 23.4 miles. I'm making a choice to, right now to chase down that sub five. I don't know if I can do it, but it's my choice to try to do it. 24 and a half, feel the finish looming. Feels a long way away. One mile. Half a mile, 452. Half a mile, 452. Beautiful race, great volunteers, great course, challenging course, so much fun. That's the metal. I am, I am broken. That felt so good. Recovery zone right there, and that is what I need in my life. That was so challenging. Beautiful course, amazing volunteers. If you have the opportunity to do this race, you come do this race. That was an amazing race, an amazing first marathon. Shout out to Roanoke, the Blue Ridge Marathon organizers, the volunteers, people of Roanoke, everything about it was just absolutely fantastic. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Stick around, subscribe if you want more racing, training, all that fun stuff. Time to go drink more beer and sleep. Have a fantastic day, everybody. See ya.